everybody. Welcome to how to pair AirPods with the Apple Watch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play music directly from your Apple Watch so you can listen to it on your AirPods without the presence of your iPhone. I've talked to a lot of people who are having problems using their AirPods, Bluetooth headphones, or even a Bluetooth speaker with their Apple Watch and found I was having an issue as well whenever I tried. Recommended solutions I found online ranged everywhere from setting up your Apple Watch from scratch to restarting your watch whenever you want to use Bluetooth audio. But I found a simple little trick that works for AirPods and any other Bluetooth audio devices that I'm going to show with you in this video. First off, I would recommend pairing your AirPods with your iPhone through the usual process, which is really quite simple. If you'd like to see that in action, please check out my video, Apple AirPod User Guide and Tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description below and have a thumbnail at the end of this video linking through to it. Once you set up or pair your AirPods to your iPhone, then they are automatically available to all of your other Apple devices that you are logged into through the same iCloud login. So idealistically then, on your Apple Watch, you would just swipe up on the main watch face to access your Apple Watch control center and change the AirPlay audio output by pressing the AirPlay button. Your AirPlay output button may not be in the same location as mine in Control Center as I have a Series 1 Apple Watch, and a Series 2 Apple Watch Control Center has a slightly different button arrangement due to the addition of the water lock button. Once you are in the AirPlay output menu, you should see your AirPods there already as an option since they were set up with your iPhone. So idealistically, you would just press the AirPods button and you'd think it would work. And if it does, then right on. But a lot of us usually end up with this error message saying, Connection failed, make sure your AirPods are turned on and in range. I was getting this error message every time, no matter what I did. And after a lot of online research, I found out a lot of other people are experiencing this issue too. But I found a workaround that seems to always work. You just need to essentially reset the Bluetooth transmitter, which is really easy. Before changing the AirPlay audio output to your AirPods, Put your watch in airplane mode for a short time. To do this, first swipe up to access control center on the watch and choose airplane mode. Make sure you wait until you get the status message at the top that says you're disconnected. Then you can turn off airplane mode and now go to change the airplay output to your airpods. And now it works. You can now play music that you loaded onto your watch directly from your Apple watch to your AirPods without your iPhone. Now I know what you're probably asking. How do I get music on my watch and play it? Well, I'll show you how. It's actually pretty easy, just not fast, unfortunately. First on your iPhone, open the Watch app. From the main My Watch tab, scroll down to and press Music. This will take you to the music menu where you can choose to sync any playlist from your iPhone to your Apple Watch. In my case, you can see I chose my Music Mix 2017 playlist. As you can see on this screen, the Apple Watch has a maximum storage limit of 2GB for music. But you can adjust this option to decrease the storage space or specify a song limit instead if you prefer. Personally, I just left it at 2GB, but it's nice to know you can control the space allocated if necessary. Now that you've specified the music, you just need to sync it over to your Apple Watch. This is the part that takes a while. As the description says on the screen, music syncs when Apple Watch is on its charger. Once it's synced, music will be available on Apple Watch even when it's out of range of your iPhone. I usually charge my Apple Watch and iPhone overnight while I'm sleeping. I synced about 738 megabytes worth of music over to my watch, and if I recall, it took about two or three nights to copy over to my watch. So like I said, it takes a while. As a side note, if you like the Apple Watch and iPhone stand I use, it's available on Amazon, and it isn't overly expensive. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. To play the music from your Apple Watch, you just launch the music app. I usually just use the music complication to access it, as I find it faster and more convenient. Once in the app, just scroll all the way to the top and choose the music source to play from, in this case, the Apple Watch, and then you can explore the music through either My Music or Playlists. 
I like using the playlists option because then it only shows what's actually on my watch. I can then enter the playlist and select what I want to hear. It's pretty easy. At any time you can switch back to your iPhone by either changing the source in the music app or changing the airplay output on your iPhone. So now you know how to pair your AirPods with your Apple Watch and play music without your iPhone. I find this really comes in handy when I go for an outdoor jog around the neighborhood and don't want to bring my phone with me. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech how-tos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.